awesome videos please subscribe I will edit and enhance your pictures this is our topic today this is the first part of picture editing series and it's very useful for beginners next part is coming very soon so this is uh, what we will be achieving in this video we have the original image and then we have the edited images and the enhanced image can see that uh, the enhanced image is much sharpened, has much more color, it has uh, everything is very clear in this image. So by the end of this tutorial you will be able to uh, change your dull uh, images into bright, beautiful, sharpened, enhanced images. Also, if you can see on this, both the images, they look a bit different. A few things, uh, as you can see, the pond over here and the green patch is not present in the original image. And I also changed a few other things. The house is also present here, uh, which is not uh, in the original image. But I'll cover that in the next part. So for now, this is one is just for the beginning. Let's see the contents of this video tutorial. So what we are going to cover is how to add pictures to the editor, cropping of image, resizing of the image, adjust brightness contrast of whole image, auto adjust feature. We will discuss that. Curve setting, the luminosity sharpening of image, color saturation and adjustment, magic band, adjustment of specific areas of image, rest of the editing which I have done will I will cover in the next video which is coming very soon. The editor I am using is paint.net. You can get this easily. I will give a link in the comment section. So let's start. We're opening the paint.net as I have installed it already. We'll go to Cortana bar and search paint.net. Let's open our editor. So it's open now. It's loading. Now oh, it has loaded. So now the first step is to add pictures. So we'll add a picture file open we can also open recent uh, files and, uh, but I'll show you how to open it file from your directories so, select your file and click open or double click the file you want to open So first step you should try is to crop the upper portion of this image which is quite unnecessary. So we will use the selection tool and go to image and select crop the selection. So our image is cropped. We can also crop more because we have a little more area left. So again we will select the area and go to crop the selection our image is cropped okay. we can also resize our image by resizing our image our image becomes uh, more heavier because uh, the quality of the image improves or if you decrease the size of the image it will, uh, it will become less and the quality will also go down so I'm changing the width you can see the length is also changing with it because I have the aspect ratio uh, checkbox checked. So it is maintaining the aspect ratio. Now uh, we should try the uh, 
resize without a constant aspect ratio so we can uh, change the width or the length now of the image to our own desire now the aspect ratio has changed the dimensions of the image have changed we can also uh, flip the image let's try that Now the, our image has been flipped towards the right side. You can also flip it vertically. It's allowed to flip it vertically. You can also rotate our image. Sometimes we capture our image in the wrong direction or orientation, so we can rotate it. So now it's time for enhancement of the image after we have done with the adjustment of the image. The so first thing we should try is the auto adjust feature. Sometimes it's, it works great, sometimes uh, most of the time it doesn't really work uh, that great. As you can see it is, has done almost nothing. So let's move on to the manual adjustment then. So first thing to improve the colors you have to do is uh, to increase the saturation level. So I am increasing the saturation level according to our... We can also change the hue. You will change your colors. Okay, but we won't change that much because that will totally change our colors of the image. Which is not our requirement. But in some cases we can use that. Uh, now let's try and sharpen the image so we can adjust the amount of sharpness we want uh, sharpen image is always better but uh, the quantity of sharpness you can achieve on an image will vary according to the quality of the image produced by your camera so you'll have to see as we are uh, sharpening the image, you can see the edges of every thing is becoming more clear. So this is the result of sharpening. We can sharpen even more. So we can try that as well. And now we'll move on to luminosity curve adjustment curve is very useful if you want to adjust some portion of your uh, the brightness of some portion of the image and leave the other portion as it is as you can see if I move the uh, upper portion of the curve the upper portion of the image its brightness level changes and uh, similarly if I change the lower portion the lower portion of the image changes its brightness so this is a cool feature you can use. Uh, we can also adjust uh, our brightness and contrast through this setting available. This is we can adjust both the brightness to our requirement, whatever we think or see uh, and feel it's better. this is okay so let's sharpen the image a little more and see if we can sharpen mul multiple times if our image is doesn't look that sharp in one go we can uh, sharpen the image again and again but make sure you don't sharpen the image too much uh, that it looks uh, bad Now let's move on to adjustment of selected portions of an image. Select, uh, 
some portion of the image we can use the magic wand as you can see it has selected the back part of the picture very successfully so let's apply some adjustments to this uh, first of all we uh, tried the auto adjust feature which is uh, has uh, probably damaged our image so this is not going to work with this selective option so it's better to do the manual adjustment so we are going to try the brightness and contrast stuff actually this picture uh, is not of very good quality that's why we are not going to get the uh, all the details of this image at the background of this image if the quality is better and some colors are missing we can achieve that we can also achieve the sharpen sharpness but uh, to image restrictions we are going to be limited so we can also do the saturation of this selected portion which will not affect any of the other part of the image which is not selected so it looks a little better our back and trees are looking a bit better so we can uh, sharpen this selection as well okay. you can see the background is getting a little sharpened but again I have to say that this image quality was not that good so we didn't achieve our desired results we can uh, have achieved that we can also select different portions of the image this is a different portion we have which we have selected through magic band so we have now adjust the saturation of this part and the result is pretty good you can see the green part is really glowing now this is uh, making the image look much superior to the one which we had started with so let's now compare both the images again the original one with the edited one so this is, this is a very basic level tutorial which I have tried to cover.